What's up, everyone? It is TNS Anathema, and uh, this is going to be some Modern Combat 3 gameplay commentary on the map. Rapture going to be playing some TDM. Got a quick nuke with the TZ4 Compact. I'll be using the Grip and Extended Magazine attachments. And the topic for the video today is going to be competitive gaming and uh, playlists that allow you to verse people as your own rank. Uh, but before I get into that, on a quick tangent here, SDK Gear, aka Rustic Gear, is uh, no longer going to be on YouTube or Pal Ringo, or I don't even know if he's still in SDK. Um, I think he resigned his position there. And uh, I don't know. I, I really looked up to him as, as a player and as a person, as a YouTuber. Um, he didn't go off and rant at people in the comments. Whenever he won or lost, he didn't make up excuses or rub in his win. He, he just seemed like a really honest guy. And uh, I feel like the community is uh, worse off for not having him anymore. But... We will, we will strive on. Anyways, uh, so I'm sure most of you uh, know that in Black Ops 2, and this isn't going to be Black Ops about Black Ops 2, I just wanted to use it as an example, there's going to be a playlist that allows you to play with people that are your own skill level. So play against people who are the same skill level as you, who have the same KDs, win-loss ratios, ranks, uh, etc. And I don't know, if... I was thinking about if video, if all video games were made that way, if all first-person shooters, if you could only play against people your own rank, first-person shooters would would not be what they are now, which I believe is one of the, besides, like, MMOs, they're the biggest genre of gaming that there is. There's just an incredible amount of people who play Halo and Call of Duty and uh, Battlefield. And, um, you know, what if they made it so you could only fight people of your own skill level? I feel like people would probably not play those games as much, and uh, it, it would make it kind of boring. What if you couldn't join a game and get a nuke? You know, what if you couldn't join a game and, you know, do really, really well, you know, go flawless or whatever? It, it would be near impossible. So I feel like if Black Ops 2 does bring that, they really need to just need to um, make sure that it isn't like a game-wide thing. Uh, I'm talking about Black Ops 2 because... I feel like um, Modern Combat has kind of copied some things from the Call of Duty franchise. You know, you can kind of get it in little aspects of things from, you know, they, they would take different aspects from, you know, COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops. And uh, it kind of shows through in their games, which is pretty cool because it's like a mesh of uh, different things. So, anyways, competitive gaming. Um, as a self-evaluation, I feel like I'm a really objective-based player. When there's a, a flag that needs to be capped in zone control or a bomb that needs to be diffused or planted, I will sacrifice my in-game KD for that win. Most of you that have played with me will testify to this. I strive for winning, and in TDMs, it's, it's different from, you know, in an, in an objective-based game type, which is why I play objective-based game types more. They usually last a bit longer. Um, I get more enjoyment out of playing objective game types, so... I don't know. I feel like um, Gameloft needs to set up some sort of a thing that that supports competitive, and you know, from clan battles to maybe um, you know uh, sub matches, one v ones. They really need to start supporting that a bit more because I can't make sub matches anymore. It 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 isn't possible. I can't you know host them anymore because I get connection lost for being in an in an empty lobby for too long. But anyways, there's a nuke. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.